Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with Jay Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's review the concept of activity based costing and traditional costing. Now, the question that I'll be using is taken from May 2019, accounting unit two, question two. And let's look at that question. And it reads Lucas Limited decided to respond to a request or proposal recently published in the media for the supply of product 427. The accountant gathered the following data pertinent to the preparation of a competitive bid. Direct materials, 50,000, direct labor, 35,000, number of orders, 25, number of inspections, 50, machine hours, 2,400, number of kilowatt hours, 7,000. Traditionally, the company uses a predetermined overhead rate based on machine hours to apply overheads. The markup on all jobs is 15%. The company has four categories of overheads as follows, and we have overhead for inspection. The activity driver for that is number of inspections, ordering the activity driver's number of orders, power, kilowatt hours, and maintenance activity driver is machine hours. You are required to A, outline two differences between traditional costing approaches and activity-based costing techniques. Let us look at the response for that. The differences between traditional costing and activity-based costing are traditional costing is more basic and less accurate than activity-based and typically assigns overhead cost to products based on subjective average rate. Another difference is that ABC is more complex and accurate than traditional costing. Another is that activity-based costing has individual rates for each activity, whereas traditional costing has only one rate for applying overheads. So basically, the traditional costing uses total cost, whereas activity-based costing apply overhead cost per activity. And any other appropriate response will do for this section. So we're going to look at what is required for part B. Determine the bid price for product 427 using machine hours to apply overhead rates. And apart from that information that we are given in the question, it indicated that traditionally the company uses a predetermined overhead rate based on machine hours to apply overheads. So the first thing that we are going to do is to calculate the predetermined overhead rate per machine hours and our calculation Formula first, predetermined overhead rate is equal to total overhead divided by machine hours. So what we're going to do is to total all the overhead and the overhead costs are inspection for 30,000, ordering 80,000, power 780,000, and maintenance is 350,000. When that, those figures are added, we get a total overhead of 1,640,000. We're now going to divide that by the machine hours, which is the activity driver, which is 200,000, and that gives us an overhead rate of $8.20 per hour. Once we have that done, we can then calculate the price for that bid. So bid price for product 427, we are going to pick up the direct materials and the direct materials costs is $50,000, that's $50,000. The other direct item is direct labor and the amount for that is 35,000. When those two are added, we get a total of 85,000 for our total direct costs. Our next step is to add the overhead and our overhead is based on the machine hours, that is how they apply the overhead in the traditional costing based on this question. So we're going to pick up the machine hours of 2,400 and we're going to multiply that by the activity rate that was calculated earlier. And that figure is $8.20 per machine hour. So that is multiplied by 8.20 and 
that give us a value for overhead of 19 thousand six hundred and eighty dollars right now we're going to add the overhead to the total direct cost and that give us a value of one hundred and four thousand six hundred and eighty and this is the total cost to that we're going to add a markup because in the question we were told that the markup on all jobs is 15%. So we're going to add that markup of 15%. And that is 15% of the 104,680. And that gives us a value of 15,702. This markup value is then added to the total cost to give us the bid price. And uh, that amount is 120,382. So under the traditional costing, having applied the concept, the value of the job, the bid price or product 427 is 120,382. So we have completed part B of the question. We're now going to look at what is required for part C, and that is determine the bid price of product 427 using the activity costing to apply over X. When you're applying the activity-based costing, the first thing that you'll have to do is to calculate the predetermined rate for each overhead based on the activity driver. So we're going to do the calculation based on each of these overheads. So we have inspection, ordering power and maintenance as the overheads. So our calculation, we're gonna begin with the formula and that is total overhead divided by the activity base. And the first one is ordering. And that is 80,000 as the overhead cost and we divide up by the number of orders and we get $1.60 per order. The next one that we'll be calculating is inspection and the inspection, total overhead for inspection is 430,000. The activity driver is 215,000 inspections and that gives us $2 per inspection. The other overhead is power and power is based on kilowatt hours and the overhead for power is 780,000. We're gonna divide that by the 500 kilowatt hours and that gave us a value of $1.56 per kilowatt hours. And the final one is the maintenance. And maintenance is based on the activity driver of machine hours, where the overhead cost is 350, and we're going to divide that by 200,000. And this gave us an activity rate of $1.75 per machine hours. Having that information, we are now able to complete part C, where we're asked to prepare the bid price, determine the bid price for product 427 using the IC. So, so we're going to use this information that we have right here, direct materials, direct labor, number of orders, number of inspections, machine hours, and number of kilowatt hours to determine the bid price along with the markup and the predetermined rate that we have calculated earlier for each overhead. Bear in mind that when you're doing the traditional costing based on the activity driver, that is what you'll calculate your overhead on. In this case, we have calculated it based on the machine hours. For the ABC, we're going to take into consideration all aspects of overheads. So you're going to find that we'll be calculating for number of hours, number of inspections, machine hours, and number of kilowatt hours. So let us begin. And the direct costs are going to be the same. So it is direct materials. And the value for the direct materials is 50,000. We're going to pick up the direct 
labor and the value for the direct labor coming from the question is 35,000. This gives us a total direct cost of 85,000. Our next step is that we are going to add our over x, so add over x. And we have four over x that we're going to include in our calculation. The first one is number of orders. That is orders. And to calculate that, we have 25 orders and the Activity rate for ordering is $1.60 is 25 multiplied by 1.60. And this gives us an overhead cost of $40 for ordering. The next overhead that we have is inspections and inspections is 50. And the predetermined overhead rate for that is $2. So it is inspection and it is 50 multiplied by $2. And this gives us a value of $100. Our next overhead is machine hours and machine hours is 2,400. The activity rate for machine hours is $1.75. So let's enter that in our account, so machine hours is 2,400 multiplied by $1.75. And this gives us a value of 4,200. And we're on to the final overhead, which is number of kilowatt hours. And the kilowatt hours is 7,000. The activity rate for kilowatt is $1.56 per kilowatt. So let's put that in our account. Kilowatt hours is 7,000 multiplied by the rate of $1.56. And this gives us a value of $10,920. We're now going to add these together to get our total overhead. And this gives us a value of $15,260 for our overhead. The overhead cost now will be added to our total direct to give us total cost. And that value is $100,260. We're now going to add in the markup. So add markup and the markup is 15% still remains at 15% and when we find 15% of a total cost of 100,260 we get a value for the markup of $15,039 this is then added to the total cost to give us the bid price for product 427 using activity based costing and that is $115,299. And that completes the question where we were asked to outline two differences between traditional costing and activity-based costing, determine the bid price using job order costing, and to determine the bid price using the activity-based costing to apply over it. And if you look at both bids, the prices are different. We're seeing where the traditional costing bid price is greater than the activity-based bid price, but bear in mind that the activity-based costing is more accurate than the traditional costing because it takes into account all the overhead costs relating to the job, okay? So that takes us to the end of this lesson, people. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.